I am actually blown away by all the support you guys out there have been giving me. 8,000 views on my video. I did not expect that in the slightest. I got, I think, maybe 60 or 70 subscribers, and it kind of gave me some motivation to go make my own YouTube videos. So I came up with this little series idea where it's kind of like a diaries for Will and what I do and how what I'm thinking about while trying to make a living as a creative person in Toronto. So we'll get into this first video here in a second, but first, uh, as you can probably see, I'm not in Toronto. I'm actually at my cottage. So why don't we take a look at it? Before we get back into the B-roll, a cottage trip is not complete without these kind of wieners. <laughs> so this video diary is about consistency. It's something that's been on my mind for a very long time now and I kind of just want to get everything off my chest. Over the last month, but really I think my whole life, I've always had problems with keeping consistent. Whether that's exercising consistently, doing homework consistently, sleeping, eating, just almost anything. For two weeks straight, be full-fledged into it and then something will happen like play too many video games in one day or get a bad night's sleep. Really anything just sets me off and all of a sudden I cannot stay consistent. And I'm trying to figure out a way to stay more consistent and be someone who works hard at their craft consistently every single day. Sometimes I find that I work a big job and I can't just bunker down right away, right after and stay consistently working on it for a week straight. There's something weird in my head. And then eventually I get into the groove and then I get it done in like two days flat. But then something happens where I meet a friend and I just get derailed. I eventually reached out to friends and talked to people in my life. And I think I found a way to really get rid of this feeling. And I think the way to solve this is just realizing that this is a reality. The realization that you're never gonna be consistent 100% of the time is a key thing for all of us, especially creative people, to realize that you're not always gonna want to make art. Even though it's something you've always wanted to do, especially for money, some days you're just not up for it because life wants to give it to you that way. And the problem is sometimes it's hard to realize exactly what's going on because you're so caught up in work, your girlfriend, your friends, just having fun. So I think the first step is just really sitting back and thinking about what you're doing every single day and how you're feeling. And then you can realize what's going on and address the problem. Even if it's a high feeling, it's gonna fade. And especially if it's a low feeling, it will fade. And then finally, if you actually get all this stuff figured out and you realize that there's no way around feeling like crap one day and there's no way around being challenged and just wanting to give up, knowing that that's gonna always be there will allow you to finally get what you know deep down inside what you need to get done, done. <laughs> 